What if I told you almost everything you know about a competitive team composition was missing a massive factor? That by making one change, your team could have stats like this. How about a permanent damage booster on top? Well, let me introduce to you the most exploitable mod in the game, Elemental Charge. Elemental Charge seems harmless, letting you gain Charge with Light after collecting one of the subclass 3.0 entities, each with their own amount required per charge. Seems harmless. Except there is one class that can make that without kills, and pretty much at a limitless rate. Even with this mod only granting you a charge every five stasis crystals, I welcome you to the depths of the Behemoth Titan. Now, to clear this up, you must have a Behemoth Titan on your team for this to work. However, this isn't a Behemoth video. Uh, it is currently the only class set up in the game to be able to abuse this mod, at least to the extreme end that it does. Having more Behemoths will make this easier, but it isn't necessary. Think of this like a battery. The more batteries you have, the more often your team will be charged, eliminating downtimes from your charges substantially. This also comes with the side effect of basically removing the strength entirely from your build, as the shards dropped en masse seem to give roughly 5% of your melee charge, regardless of your stat. On screen is a build I've been running a lot this past season, for quite a few reasons, with a different mode depending on which team I'm playing with, though I might make a full video on this later, so no spoilers. The general keys for this to work are Tectonic Harvest and Howl of the Storm for Aspects, and Shards for a Fragment. Then, finally, to fill in the gaps in uptime, Horafrost Z. With that skeleton, you can mix and match as you like, though what you're currently seeing is what I tend to play most, with Rhyme and Chains being interchanged depending on the team composition. Like I said, this video isn't about Stasis Titan, but what about this mod? Now that we have a class that can easily abuse this mod, what does that mean? Well, that if we want benefits from Charge with Light, we'll always be on a timer. So what parts of a normal build can we sacrifice for more effect? The most obvious is, of course, Surge Mods. With a single move, we've now applied a damage boost to all of our weapons of a single burn type. While you might notice this damage boost isn't a large amount, in rare cases it can lower shots to kill, but more often, it'll push out your effective range, or, you know, just make you feel better for having a bigger number on screen. Well, what else? Like I said, now that we've added one Decay-type Charge with Light mod, what else can we add? Well, why not more Decay mods? Most people at this point would look at each other and wonder what we're talking about, and that I'm crazy. Most people here would put either Kickstart mods, or weapon performance mods on. However, when armor mods were simplified about a year ago, some mods were remade in a different fashion. The font mods. When you use a font mod in the current sandbox, you'll gain stats in the selected stat based on how many copies of the mod you have on. Now while those plus 60 stats do seem juicy, let's remember that by taking more copies of this mod, we're seeing diminishing returns and it also comes at the cost of not having other mods in that slot. For PvP, I'd almost always recommend no more than a single one of these mods each. I'd also advise these mods be in places where the detriment of not having them maxed at all times is worse. For example, keeping your resale as high at all times while also keeping more unflinching mods in your chest piece means that running max resilience may still be worthwhile. Finally, if your build allows for the space, adding on an elemental time dilation mod on your class item to give each stack 15 seconds rather than 10 will allow you to feel these effects way longer and will help your ability to loop this indefinitely, 
If you're at four seconds left on your timer and you get an extra charge, you go up to two seconds with 15, almost getting two charges for the price of one. Don't think just because you aren't on Stasis Titan that this doesn't apply to you either. While you may not be making them, you sure can collect the shards from your teammates. Just by having a behemoth on the team, you can swap these mods on for yourself and get a free damage boost and stats and be on your way. You want to outclass other bubbles by having more grenades and your super first? How about a strand hunter with more grapples and clones than the other? Finally, how about a well warlock who has more healing nades, more phoenix dive than your counterpart? The lengths these mods can push a team are crazy and you blow past teams who just have worse stats and less utility to use than you do. By the way, thanks for the warm and welcoming reception on the last video. It was awesome and it makes me feel excited to see what else I can make. I've been trying to improve things like audio, since you're going to have to listen to me yap anyways. And while it's definitely been a pain, and I hope the current progress I've made has made it a little bit better to listen to. For now, enjoy the stream highlight where I was accidentally put in a lobby for part-time gamers and was almost able to drop and I made this for you. Likely Stasis Titan deep dive coming later on, by the way. I missed the second one. Oh, teammate, you are so nice. Now you're fighting with heart, God. Just double down. Oh my God, my teammates are shooting with me. This is a dream come true. This is this is the lobby. Whenever I complain that I don't get the team, this is the team. You guys are the all stars. Double down together as one. I love. It. I'm on the, like the big streak. You're supposed to let me pick those up and get another super. Come on, man. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. You continue to be my greatest success. That's why we have oh, I did machine ammo again. Two for one. Oh fuck it. Swapped. Two for one. Team 
shot my teammate. My sniper's mission in my mode now, too? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Alright, what's the timestamp? We're... We're going back to clip that game. 1330.